This conference will now be recorded. Hi, hello all. Welcome to the next session on SAP Object Oriented ABAP. Uh, till now, we have seen some of the object oriented concepts in the local classes. And if you implement your class in the local, locally in the program, the class is available in that program only. You cannot access from outside of the programs. That is one of the disadvantages. And the second disadvantage is you cannot directly test the local classes. The local classes are executed by the programs. But so if you want to test directly and also if you want to provide an, a global visibility for your class. So we are going to create an, a global classes. See guys, there is an, a functionality which is an, a common functionality. Okay, where you see that functionality can be accessed from multiple programs. Then I can go with the global classes and global methods. Let's take an example. Suppose um, I would like to upload a file, guys. This is a functionality. Let's assume. So file upload functionality can be done by using multiple programs. If I just build one class for the file upload, so that file upload, I can reuse it in anywhere. So if you see that kind of functionality, so whenever you get the requirement, so you need to think, is this functionality will be applicable for all maybe if, is, is it in a global functionality or in a local functionality if it is in a local functionality you need to implement the local classes if it is in a global functionality we need to implement in a global classes guys that's the requirement that's the requirement maybe suppose if you want to create in a sales order maybe the creating sales order maybe comes in different projects so you can create in a class and method and write a method create sales order so wherever i would like to create in a sales order i will create in a global class and that class method i am going to reuse from anywhere guys that's the name global functionality and the global classes we are going to see the global classes now maybe this is my differences for the local class and global class local classes accessed within the program only we cannot access from external programs we cannot process from the external programs and we cannot directly test the local classes and it will be executed by program so same reverse accessed accessed from all external programs we can directly test it we can directly test it guys so that's the name global and the transaction code is sc24 guys the t code is sc24 so can anybody tell me what all the transaction code we have used till now we have used n number of transactions guys so what are the transactions we have used till now just recap here so no need to remember the transaction code i told so it's all based on the practice you are going to get it get maybe i can start with sc09 or sc10 so for the transport transport request 
and SC11 DD IC, yes, above data dictionary. And tell me SC14 for data perfect utility and SC16 and SC16 and data browser so whatever i covered in the your batch i am explaining the here and uh, 19 yeah sc21 package builder and maybe now we are going to see it's in a global classes and tell me what we seen uh, SC, okay, I'm going, I'm going with sequence. SC, uh, SC, SC 37, next function builder, and SC 38, okay, above editor. Tell me what we did, SC, uh yeah perfect let's see what the one menu menu painter yes see uh, no 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 sequence yes see 54 create table maintenance generator SC 55 change TMG then I think yeah next one is the SC 80 so for this course I am talking so for other people we have used a lot of many SC 80 is the object browser object browser next one is sc91 uh, classes sc93 transaction codes that's it guys i think we have used this transaction maybe we have another transaction codes correct so sm30 sm30 Okay, table, yeah, yeah, maintenance view. And next, ST, yeah, yeah, ST 22, very important. Dump analysis, a dumper analysis. And maybe ST 12 for the locks. For SM 12, okay. Uh, uh, see t para is the table database table parameter it is yeah it's in a database table it's not a transaction yeah tables we have used n number of so we'll we'll see the list of t codes okay maybe i can have one list of important ABAP decodes, not SAP decodes. I can say it's an ABAP related decodes case. This. Okay, we SAP, we have a lot of even you have business transactions as well. So that we will cover in different maybe. So these are some of the transactions course. Some people may ask this, what is the transaction code in this case? So don't miss out that kind of opportunity. Okay, so just you need to tell this transaction codes. Okay. A new slide, and now I am going to create a global class. Global class is the SC24 case. Okay, this is our next topic in the object orientation. We have seen because if you want to improve your coding skills, you need to implement local classes. Case. Okay, very good concept. Okay, you are going to get a lot of coding stuff. 
when you use the local class and SAP user we are one, two, three, four. and and transaction code is SC24 no more arithmetics already we know what exactly the class what is exactly the attribute directly we are going to same class the sales class we will implement in the global classes case same thing okay same thing we are going to implement in the global class so always case you need to start gcl it's a name global object always global object should start with z r y so it's an a z you need to start guys so if you don't mention z it's an a standard class guys sap given class that's the difference between custom class and standard class guys okay so first if you start with z it's an a custom class and if you don't start with this it's an a standard class sap standard class so i am going to create my own class gcl it is a six or seven and it's my sales class that's it it's my sales class and and guys before see again i will go to the figure maybe so if i want to have an a sales object definitely i need to have an a uh, this object customer object i need to have an a product object so i need to have an a uh, maybe the dependent objects maybe i will take this and first dependent see here the business flow so for the sales i need to have an a customer object and product object first i will build the customer object and product object i am going to reuse this customer object and product object into my sales object guys that's what my requirement that's what my requirement guys so see the sales is dependent on customer the sales is dependent on the product first i will use the customer and product then i will create an a sales object maybe i will create an a cust object customer object okay and create my class see guys create my class it gives me the pop up and it's my customer details and guys here you can see the class types private protected and public and abstract we are going to see this and maybe you can make this as an a public class and also we have different class types of classes it's a normal class and exceptional class and persistent class and test classes and also you see there is an a final as well there is an a final as well maybe i don't select this is an a final everything is important guys okay in this everything is important i don't make it is an a final class now and i'm going to create an a normal class and save it and save it in the transport request and transport request for the uh, prashanta okay you uh, transport request for the object oriented select my transport only not in the other transports click on okay and also guys when you go to the companies so don't mix up the objects you need to select proper transport create one transport for one object let's take an example of i have any requirement so i need to send some data to the external system so create a transport first for the first object okay maybe that is an interface to the external system okay for this i need to create a database table i need to create a structure i need to create a domain i need to create a data element i need to create a function module rfc i need to create an o data service for that everything should be in the one transport guys so whenever you save it be careful so is my uh, am i storing this object in my proper transport or not some people doesn't see it just click it but when i transport my transport actual you are going to miss out some other objects which will be stored in the different objects when it goes to the test system you may end up with errors the first point and the second point if you don't get the error and you are going to get in a dumps guys short dumps you are going to get it which is not a good thing okay even though you have some bugs that's not a problem 
but if you miss out that objects in the transport which is not at all acceptable okay it's in a basic thing it's in a fundamental thing guys so by seeing your transport i can say whether you have experience or not simple so i will give an object i will see the transport based on the transport see i can easily track your work guys don't think that my manager is not coming to me okay he is not checking my work so i can sit at my desk i can see whatever you are working everything i can track it just i will go to the se10 and i will give your name and i can get all the things guys go to se10 and it's my sap user id is my user id i will take out the user id and id admin is your user id okay let's assume id admin is your user id and display it so maybe i don't have transports if you have the transports definitely you are going to get it guys and next thing is don't save any object in the local objects don't save any object in the local object that is also thing and if you want to if you want to create if you want to save any object what is the first mandatory thing yeah? package is the answer so you need to have any package maybe you doesn't know what is a package which your company is using what you will do you will create the package uh, because already existing system means already people are deploying transports right so definitely there is any package and how do you find out the package okay so i have in a gold somewhere i lost my gold okay where you will find out you will go to that place there only you are going to search it here also se21 i created my package i will search over itself guys so jet star it's my custom package see these are all the custom packages which are available in this system when you go to the real time put jet star you are going to get all the custom packages maybe if it is an sd module you, you can see gsd like this if it is an fi module maybe you can see gfi search like this guys and if it is an mm module gmm like this guys okay so this is the way you need to find out i am give i am creating your your packages like this module wise packages will be available save it and whenever you create an a class guys so class contains the attributes class contains the methods class contains the events and also types also data declarations also you can do in the classes guys so it's a types not the exceptions exceptions will have in the methods we will be having the exceptions guys okay so class contains the types types data declarations it's a types means it's a data declarations method contains the exceptions case method contains the exceptions okay now i will go to here and maybe first for the customer what are all the attributes we are going to have so maybe say att underscore maybe i want a customer number okay and it's see guys so level level whether it is a name instance method or in a static method we have two types of things so whether it is an instance or static maybe i can take the uh, this one is uh, based on the customer it will change yeah it should be an instance method and visibility whether it is in a public or private or protected take the public we'll see first we'll see the public and private like that we are going to see it's my customer number and also you should give in a reference as well guys so where is the reference so the reference is not there enter save so i can give the references where is the reference guys it's not asking method type i think uh, visibility public in method type uh, oh that's the problem perfect so it's not a method guys that's why i'm thinking where is my uh, uh, reference see definitely there should be a reference so for your attribute so att underscore k u n n r it's my level and guys remember the numbers order zero instance 
and one static and two is the constant maybe zero is my thing put the zero no need to press f4 and all and enter So you need to define, don't press enter immediately. So ADT underscore KU NNR and zero and visibility is the, so what is the visibility public? Then you need to provide KU NNR reference. Now you press enter guys. Now you press enter, why? ATT, the kind of, okay, it's not taking the level. ATT underscore KU and NR and attribute is the level, it's my instance attribute and the visibility is the public and it's my KU and NR guys. And so it's a read only or you can change it. Yes, save and enter. Why it's giving me the kind of component ATT Kunar cannot be changed. Okay, save. I think ATT underscore KU and NR and level. It's my instance. It's my public. Maybe it's read only and KU and NR. No, no, no. What's the error I'm getting? No, it should come actually. So what kind of class it is? Come back, change, not reboots. Yes, public. Friends. Attributes. It's my ATT underscore KU and NR and level. It's my instance attribute. Instance attribute is the customer number. Yeah, that's why it's not accepting. It's a key field. So key field cannot be any instance attribute. And maybe instance visibility public it's my name one and name one underscore gp eh? i think yeah it's accepting why it's not accepting for the customer i think that is the reason k u n n r it's my instance attribute public and public and type K U N N R and enter. Yeah, it's now accepting. I don't know before why it's not accepted. And this is my uh, thing, guys. Next one is ATT underscore. And guys, it's not required actually here. So the attribute level I don't need. And maybe instance public. And it's um, ATT underscore name one land one and it's my land one underscore G. Okay, so you want to rename uh, ATT underscore land one and instance in public and land one underscore GP. Okay, country key guys. Next, maybe we will take ATT underscore uh, same TGLF1. So we'll take the instance attribute, instance attribute and public, and public, and so telephone one. I don't remember the data element and SC11 and KNA1. 
and display control f t e l f 1 yeah same guys t e l f 1 so this is a data element you you see and this is my customer attribute maybe um, so this is the information i want as an attribute guys header information i have taken just the header information and uh, go to the methods and guys so i need to have an instance method maybe so what i am going to do is i am going to build an a constructor see here so we you, we don't write any code here simply click on the constructor you will get an a method guys constructor that's it which is an a instance and public and also maybe i can provide any parameters for this my parameters importing parameters is the a u and then r guys this is my importing parameter maybe you can give the pass by uh, pass by value and pass by reference so by default it's an a pass by reference if you select it becomes an a pass by value guys so if it is an a pass by value we can change it so i have corrected my mistake if it is an a pass by value we can change it if it is an a pass by reference we cannot change inside this and whether it's in a optional or mandatory definitely this should be in a uh, mandatory guys this should be in a mandatory parameter and if you want to raise exceptions we can raise the exceptions and type it's in a k u and then r k u and then r and save it and so this is my method so save it i didn't implemented my method guys okay i didn't implemented my method do the syntax check no syntax errors found and activate and activate it guys so without your implementation guys so it's accepting it's accepting and maybe since the constructor maybe it's accepting okay so we'll check it maybe i'm going to implement the recent interview question guys so just i defined a method and so inside that i didn't implement anything any code so will it give syntax error or will it accept so it's constructor cu and str constructor without implementing the method method we can activate it no syntax errors case no syntax errors okay so without implementing we can activate it no syntax errors case who knows guys so when you do the things then only we will come to know so just we did and without this we can it will accept no syntax errors found see guys so if you want to see the what are the interfacing parameters in a global class guys so simple there is an a signature see i click on a signature it goes thus the interfacing parameter goes out if you click on signature again you see there is an interfacing parameter click on signature i don't see the interfacing parameter click on signature you see the interfacing parameters case okay we are going to deep dive everything so signature it provides interfacing parameters very important guys we are going to see even baddie also we see here so interfacing parameters what value comings inside and what values going outside guys very very important so that's what in a signature in the global class that's what the signature already constructor you know the concept is same in local class or global class just i am providing additional uh, uh, additional uh, concepts over here and this is my constructor so constructor is the default instance method and this is the first method whenever you instantiate the object so what value coming in see the symbol 
importing means value is coming into this method that's a symbol over here and my value i have a name value and maybe i can select select single same code guys so maybe name one and how many parameters we have taken land one huh? and uh, tl three parameters i have taken telf1 uh, from kunar i didn't uh, i don't want from kn a1 and into single directly same code att underscore uh, name one same same sequence name one land one same thing the sequence when whatever the sequence you select the target parameter should be also in the same sequence and it's the land one and att underscore it's in a telf one guys it's my thing and where ku and nr equal to the im underscore ku and then r that's it guys so i have set any values to my attributes it's my constructor okay do the syntax check no syntax errors found and activate your class maybe i want a little bit i don't want this maybe i can send this taskbar show windows side by side show that is i can set uh, this desktop and properties and toolbars i can show that in uh, bottom and uh, left apply yeah this is my uh, okay so i have an a taskbar over here and now i can see total sap screen over here guys and activate this and you can see the object is activated and now come back see guys what i told so if it is in a global class i can directly test my global classes and just test your class and here you can see guys so just instantiate it i'm going to instantiate it and give the value sorry and test it and give the value kunar 2150 and instance means you are going to instantiate the class and wherever you instantiate so you are going to get it is executed the constructor is executed and it is displayed the values over here guys it is displayed the values over here so if you want to see the same thing go to the constructor and put a breakpoint put a breakpoint and maybe already i have even attribute also customer k u n n r and a t t underscore k u n n r guys and activate activate the your method and put in a breakpoint and execute your thing and give that 2150 is my customer and whenever you instantiate it and whenever you instantiate it so the first method which is executed is the constructor method constructor method is name instance default method and press f5 so we have selected the data the data is there in the kunar and name one and land one and telephone one guys this is my details and execute it now you see the details case now you see the details attribute values and constructor next maybe in this method i want the uh, maybe get okay customer company code maybe i can say customer com get company code company shortcut get company code guys okay so which is my instance method and which is my which is my uh, private method i can say this method i am going to create as an a private method guys this method i am going to create it's an a private method and get customer company code 
and save it and maybe i will do the identify anything for this and do the syntax check again and no syntax errors found and and activate guys it is activated even a normal method also not only constructor and constructor or normal method so without implementing without implementing the method we can activate it no syntax errors guys no syntax errors so that is also i did in a check so are you clear so i am not defining any parameters and also i didn't implemented this method so when i activate it it accepted so the activation is possible and there is no errors guys there is no errors and maybe i need to have any parameter for this my parameter is the i am underscore a u n n r it's my type so it's my importing parameter and uh, i should not change it and i should not it's not an optional and k u n n r it's my reference but when i get what is my method my purpose of method is get company code that means i need to get the company code details if i want to get the company code details so that means you need to give some output right so that's why i am going to have output ex underscore company code is the kn b1 guys and it should be a exporting not the importing parameter it should be an exporting and since for one customer i can have multiple company codes so it should be an internal table type if it is an internal table type we need to refer an a table type is the thing maybe i don't know whether it is there gtt kn b1 this is my yeah it's a table type which is there for me and double click on this you can see the table type guys this is my table type this is my table type so i have given in a table type that's it and go to the methods here again and in this method implement the code and i am going to implement the code simple code just to select star from knb1 because i have declared with all the fields i am selecting with all the fields and select star from knb1 into table because i can expect multiple things and my uh, exporting parameter is the ex underscore my knb1 see guys here you can see so kunar which is an incoming value and knb1 which is an outgoing value it's an exporting parameter that's the purpose of the signature see there is no signature so if you select it there is a signature guys and color and where my ku and nr equal to the i am underscore ku and then or ku and nr guys save but sometimes guys so even we need to handle the exceptions as well guys so if there is no company code assigned to the customer so it should give an error guys it should give an error so that also we need to handle so if you want to if you want to handle the exceptions maybe go to the method and select exceptions and raise any exceptions no company code assign no company code assigned no company code data for given customer this is my message guys this is my message and take this uh, exception go back and click on the method and raise the exception so if you don't find if sai sub rc not equal to 0 that means no customer found and and if and rise exception rise exception my exception is this guys my exception no company code assigned so this is the raising the exceptions inside the method and save it and let a printer do the uh, check no company code assigned is unknown so uh, no raise exception i think it's type 
I think it's type guys. This is what no C O M A N Y code assigned. Yeah, now it should be correct. I think so now do the syntax check. So no company code assigned. So we did last time guys somewhere have did this raise exception type no company code assigned i think so maybe we'll do an f1 guys i forgot the syntax it should be a type i think so raise exception and the type of the exceptional class and if you don't use we have handled this and exporting catch so how to raise exception and type so this is my class of the exception if, if you have an exceptional class i can do that and so somewhere i did this so this is my exceptional class i don't want exceptional class directly we can raise the exceptions so last time we did this without a exceptional class we can raise exception maybe we will delete the type type when you have this maybe rice say yeah no syntax errors found so so that is an exceptional class there is an exception type but i don't use the exceptional classes now and we'll do we'll do it later guys we'll do it later maybe now we can test this and maybe you should instantiate 2150 and instantiate yes this is already we have seen guys and now you can see this is my uh, output and where is my method so you cannot test the private or private methods you cannot test the private methods individually you can call from another place directly you cannot test it guys so see so whenever i did 2150 directly i cannot test the private and so you cannot see the private methods guys you cannot test the private methods so next statement so these are all the fundamentals guys you cannot test private methods directly so everything is an important guys so this i did maybe if if i goes to the interview i may ask this question right so you cannot test private methods directly so it's not possible i am not able to test it now see execute and just i am giving the 2150 and instantiate the class and my only my public attributes are available green all my public attributes but my private methods i am not able to test the private methods case maybe we will see the uh, public method then and i can have one more method which is an a public method maybe i can say it's my uh, sales area yes area get sales area guys sales area and which is my instance method and also which is an a public method i can say okay so get sales area data save it and take the parameters and go here and i am underscore kunar and type it's my importing it's my importing parameter and also i have an aku and then r and i have exporting parameter my exporting parameter knvv is the table and this is my exporting parameter this is my exporting building the global class is easy guys so local class see so after you see the local class and comparing with this it's an easy gtt underscore knvv and enter and uh, knvv is does not exist and we'll create the knvv it's no problem s11 and so maybe uh, data type guys always don't go to build the new things maybe is there any standard table type available for the knvv this is also one more point so don't create the custom objects more so star 
K N V V star. Okay, and do the F four. It will ask. You are finding for what? So by using data type, I can create any data elements. I can create any structures. I can create any table types. And maybe I am searching for the table types. And see, so there is an existing table types available, guys. So table for KNVV. So table for KNVV and uh, fact sheet. And maybe uh, KNVV. You can take this case. This is my KNVV uh, thing. And double click on this. Now only key I have, guys. I don't want only key. I want all the information. So sometimes you need to find it again. So all the things I want. Only they have given only keys in this. And maybe uh, fact sheet. Table type. Don't use this. And total customer master sales data. And yeah, yeah, yeah I know that. So I, I don't want to use slash. I am looking for the data. Table KNVV and I, I yes customer master sales data. Customer master sales data. And it's in a billing, yeah. It's a billing and a delivery information. It's only key. It's a baddy related thing. And customer master sales area. So maybe this I can take it. Uh, this I can take it. And see, guys, total KNVV table is available. Total KNVV table is available. Every information from the KNVV. Table. This is what finding the things and take this and go and give the thing guys. Control V enter. So this is the way you need to take the existing objects. It's a system knowledge, guys. Okay, don't go directly create the table type. Maybe sometimes I am lazy, that's why I'm doing. But in the when I am building the uh, object in the real time, I don't take the I don't take the uh, I don't create any table type for everything. And do the syntax check and s yes, and save it. No syntax errors. Maybe we'll create the exceptions as well. And exceptions and no s yes, area data form. This is my exception. If there is no data, no sales area data found for given customer. This is my exception and see guys go to the methods. You need to check where you are in actually. So, okay, you are in the method exceptions. Now by seeing this now you are in the method exceptions. You need to go to the methods. So this is my method and implement double click on this. You can implement the method guys. You can implement this method and simple select star from KNVV into my table uh, into table what is the table ex underscore knvv and where ku and n are equal to the im underscore ku and then ku and n r and same if all basics only right we are going to do so not equal to zero that's why fundamentals are important fundamentals we have learned this in the fundamentals printer and if this is the thing raise exception no underscore yes a r a underscore do the control space that's it guys no need to remember the spellings also and save it and pretty printer and activate it and activate your class guys so execute now enter so if you want to if it is an instantiate, definitely you need to inject the value. This is my key of my class, guys. So, so in the object orientation, I have explained what exactly the key, right? So, unique identity for your application, guys. So, entire your your object de derived by using this key. So, that will be maintained in the constructor importing parameter. See, this is my two one five zero, 
and instantiate it and execute it it is going to be derived and see guys you can see the public method you can directly test the public method and double double click here and two one five zero and execute now you see the there is a name data there is a name data guys see if you want to see the total data you can see the total sales organization distribution channel division everything you can see over here maybe <coughs> <coughs> I will give the junk customer and execute. See, guys, the exception is raised. So, exception no sales area triggered. And so, the message ID and message number we didn't assign, just we have given no sales area data found for the triggered guys. Maybe if you want to assign the message classes also, we can do that, guys. So, this is also important. Maybe come back. And go to the properties and see guys i can give my message class as well so i am going to give the message class maybe g cl message class this is my class message class guys i'm going to create a se 91 and i'm going to create gcl msc class okay maybe it's my gcl uh, customer msc class guys customer msg class so just create the message class and message class for customer master okay save and save it and save it and messages so triple zero no customer master data found for given customer and the customer number dynamically i can print so customer number ampersand you need to give so we'll see this also and i have shown this and maybe i have given the ampersand one and save it and this is my one message guys and save my message class and take this message class and provide the message class over here <laughs> this is my uh, message class and uh, okay this is my message class guys maybe what i am going to do now is so go to the methods in the constructor level also it is possible to raise the exceptions guys so <coughs> exceptions no customer found so first of all this is a basic table k even is in a basic table so in the constructor level also so if the customer not found if psi hyphen sub rc not equal to zero and if and so uh, raise i no <coughs> so no and we can raise with the message class as well guys how can i find raise this and maybe with the message class i can raise this maybe with no uh, i think i can raise like this raise with message class uh, uh, save it wait wait i can raise with the message class with this and f1 raise above raise exception raise event uh, raise exception i can do with this uh, message I can do uh, with this uh, message, guys. So now you can see. Uh, raise exceptions. No. <coughs> I can write with the messages, guys.
I think like this maybe. message and my message class is maybe e triple zero and raise yeah uh, raising no, this yes this is the way i can do this message e triple zero raising no customer found and this is what i can do pretty printer do the syntax case now you can see and control c so this kind of things spontaneous and so here you can see fourth one all public methods we can directly test and fifth fifth one just raise exception syntax is rice and the exception exception name if you want to raise rise exception with message class and below is my syntax this is my rise exception with the message class i am doing it why because the number which is there in the message class level and the message class i have defined and message class should be assigned in the properties or attributes or properties properties of the class so the that should be assigned at the properties of the class guys see and save it and go to the uh, close this and next close to close to the class and come back and save and see in the properties of the class so i have assigned the message class and activate my class so activate the class so now we'll test again execute and maybe i'm giving in a junk is my customer number and instantiate and i'm instantiating it f5 size of rc4 so there is no junk customer and it is going to raise an exception with the message and could not be generated the instance and the instance is not yet generated due to the exceptions maybe i need to catch that ex exception so that's why it's not in the constructor itself i did a name uh, this thing so i cannot get the output maybe same thing i am going to do uh, with the uh, uh, with the this thing so my next is the no um, customer sales area data found for the given customer and it's my ampersand here i can show the uh, result save it and this is my 001 okay come back and save it and go to the methods and go to the sales area data and double click here and maybe here i can raise message e001 and it's not a raise guys it's a raising say raising raising and save it and do the syntax check and activate in this case now i will execute my class and give the uh, correct output only correct customer only okay given here and execute and maybe i'll go to the get sales area it's my junk and execute and see guys message id and message number it shows the no customer sales area doubt from the given customer. But what is the customer that? What is the customer that? So even you need to provide a parameters as well. And maybe with my parameter is the IM underscore KU and then R. So the parameter also I am going to.
provide i am underscore kunar save it and activate and activate it and come back and execute the class give the 2150 and instance and execute the method give the junk errors i am testing and so see guys the customer is junk guys so dynamically we can print it whatever the customer that customer can be printed dynamically guys ampersand in the message class suppose <laughs> i have one more uh, uh, doubt if i want to have uh, a two parameters here then if i have want to have two parameters maybe i need to print with another parameter as well how we can do that so one concept you know the other concept simple guys maybe dummy okay and go to the message class and change and here i am going to take the two ampersands guys so two parameters i am going to print with the two ampersands so two parameters i am injecting it and activate and okay and execute this and give the right here otherwise your object will not be instantiated so just i am testing i am this kind of things and f8 and go to the here and okay error cust now i am giving a another customer error cust and you can see guys so this is my message null sales error data found for given customer the customer is the error cust and the another one is the dummy so two parameters we can raise the exceptions so that's the name uh, exceptions and public and private in the global level so just this uh, this is my one object guys this is my customer object this is my customer object now i would like to have this object in my sales class as well and i am going to create my sales class sales class and and okay my design is wrong actually okay and go and create my edg sales and so actually i should i should be having an interfacing that otherwise why because here guys so sales order is an object okay which need the customer object which need the product object that means i need to take the functionality of the customer i need to take the functionality of the product that means this inheritance i am going to call this inheritance i am going to call multiple inheritance guys i need to take multiple objects into the single object so with the class it is not possible with the class c sales details so this is also interview question guys so even so doing the mistake it's not a problem so we will get to know a lot of things when you do the mistake only we are going to get the lot of things guys maybe what i would like to do so i would like to take the functionality of the i would like to take the functionality of my class customer object and my customer object class is the so if you want to inherit the class guys see here there is an a super class super class so my super class is my this el underscore edg7 underscore cust this is my class cust or customer yeah so this is my class guys so i would like to inherit the functionality from the super customer class but if i want to inherit the functionality from the product class is it possible here is it possible here are you clear so guys this is my child this is my parent this is my parent this is my child so if it is if the parent is in a class if it, if the parent is in a class if i want to get the absorb this from here and just i can get only one parent attributes over here guys so this i cannot apply into the real time okay suppose if there are multiple parents okay so if you want to inherit the functionality of the multiple parents into the single object 
so the parents are the parents should not be a child class guys that's sorry the parents should not be a class so for that i have another option okay we'll talk later so here the disadvantage of the class if you maintain the super class i can only have a single inheritance not a multiple inheritance guys so new slide first we'll have inheritance control b first tell me what exactly the inheritance so uh, we can access all the public <coughs> public and i think protected not the private guys yesterday we have seen we cannot inherit private things into the sub classes we can access all the public and protected see there is a picture as well so visible for same class in its friends class public yes and also any sub classes if it is in a protected visible for the same class its sub friends class and as well as the sub classes sub classes means inherited classes case inherited classes so inheritance all the we can access all the public and protected components of super i can say super parent or base class case so there are three things the top level parent i can say it's in a super class it's in a base class it's in a parent class case the terms are same whatever the term that is in the same so if you want to inherit so the super class can be the super and parent or base class so the inherited class is the child class case inherited class is the child class or its sub class both are same sub class child class are the same guys the naming conventions and the parent class or base class or super class are the same the parent class and sub class are child class so this is my inheritance case but types of inheritance this is also a question one is the single inheritance and multiple inheritance single inheritance and multiple inheritance so when we inherit parent class or super class into sub class this we call single inheritance single inheritance single inheritance single inheritance case okay so when you do the instant inheritance sorry control z from the from the parent class or super class into sub class this we call the single inheritance so just know what we did just know what we did so we have inherited the functionality of the customer by using super class i clicked on the super class and i have given the parent class as an a customer class so save it i have saved the class now go to the attributes guys now go to the guys 
did you created this attribute in the sales class did you created this attribute in the sales class did you created this attribute in the sales class no so since i have given the parent class as an a customer class automatically all the public attributes are inherited into my child class and also all my public methods are inherited into my child class but i have any one more method get company code which is an a private method which is not inherited into my child class guys that's the name inheritance concept this inheritance we call it an a single inheritance guys single inheritance so we'll we'll talk multiple inheritance later first we'll see this first we'll see this how exactly it is going to work out and activate and activate and maybe this class i can say it's not a final class maybe and save it this is not my final class case and i am going to maybe attributes you know the attributes in sales level i have a sales attributes right and edit underscore order type is my one attribute it's a instance attribute it's an instance attribute maybe it's my uh, it's my maybe yeah i can make it in a public attribute and type a u a r t and a u a r t and i have an a another attribute a to a underscore v k o r g <coughs> it's my instance attribute it's which is my public attribute which is my public attribute and it's my type is the guy single values i am declaring with the data elements and the attributes of internal table and all i am going to define with the table types based on the value you need to re given a reference and att underscore vtw easy and it's my <coughs> instance attribute and it's my public method and vt w easy and att underscore Uh, my S P A R T, and it's my instance. It's my instance attribute, and it's my public. It's my public. V K O R G, and this is my uh, S P A R T, and X. Save, save guys. Same thing, but I am creating the global class case. Okay, and maybe go to the methods of my class. and i have constructor this constructor is not my constructor this constructor is the customer constructor it's not a sales constructor and get sales area and maybe here also i need to have my own constructor so do you want to copy the across the signature of the super class constructor no don't copy the signature of the super class constructor guys i want my own signature and so mm -hmm. so what is the difference then <coughs> if i have constructor here what is the difference then if i have the constructor uh, here if i have two constructors what happens so what about the existing constructor okay leave it and maybe i have an a this class constructor this is my sales class guys my sales class constructor it's my vbeln is my key guys so <coughs> sales order number is the key vbeln underscore v and sales and save it go to the uh, methods and implement the constructor method and my constructor method is this and select single okay maybe vbeln uh, vbeln is the attribute of this class yeah vbeln is not and maybe a u a r t and v k o r g v t w e z s p a r t that's it huh? do you have anything no So S P A R T and 
this is my values and from vback is the table into my att underscore <coughs> auart att underscore vkorg att underscore uh, vtwez and att underscore my spart okay this is my thing and where vbgln equal to the im underscore vbgln guys that's it and save it and come back and activate this and activate this guys. see so there are some errors guys so in the constructor method you can only access instance attributes instance methods after calling the construction of constructor of the super class guys okay so so if you have very very good concept guys so if i have any constructor suppose if you have any super class in the base class in the child class constructor directly you cannot you cannot set the values case first you need to instantiate the super class first you need to instantiate the super class then instantiate me so what it is saying so first you instant my parent then you instance me first you consult my parent then you come to me okay that's for the uh, concept here so the syntax over here is so whenever you have a super class constructor whenever we have a constructor in the super class so if you want to instance my object child object definitely you need to instantiate the parent object first first parent object instantiate then instantiate me guys that's the uh, thing but if i want to instance my parent object i need to have an a i need to have an a key guys i need to have an a key i need to have an a key guys but where can i get that key where can i get that key guys where can i get that key so maybe the key i am going to get it because i should not maybe after getting this can i do the like this maybe i will use super class my super class is this and maybe i can call constructor method and do this and do the set and enter yes guys maybe i can find the customer from here uh, here i am underscore k u n n r sorry it's only k u n n r maybe i can get my value from here a t t underscore k u n n r guys so k u n n r a t t k u n n r right and save it and maybe first i will get the customer first i will in, i will get the sales data from the sales data i will get the customer number so after that customer number maybe i will instantiate that object as well a t t underscore k u n n r guys and save and pretty printer and do the syntax check and so in the construct method you can only access instance attributes instance methods are me <coughs> after calling the constructor of the super class so huh? <coughs> yeah first i have to call super but if i want to call the super i need to have a customer number so without the customer number i cannot instantiate my super class so how can i get the customer number then how can i get the customer number then and maybe uh, what i will do is i will have an alternative thing guys maybe before the constructor calling before the constructor calling which method will be executed by default perfect guys see control x just i am handling in a different way control x come back save and i am going to create an, a class constructor for this static constructor okay so in the static constructor uh, in the static i cannot pass the values not no importing parameters 
So how can I get this value then? I need to get a customer number. So how can I get this value? How can I get this value guys? So in the class constructor, I can instantiate that, but I need to get an A. So this is a challenging task for me. And how can I handle this? Tell me, how can I handle? I have one a constructor here. And in this constructor, I need to get my value, control Z. So where is my code? Okay, I saved it, I think. Yeah, that's not a problem. So how to do this? Maybe uh, I need to I need to because I should not get a customer number before based on sales. Okay, I need to get the customer. And in the constructor So if I make my constructor in the parent class as in a private, yeah? no, 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 I don't make friends. If I make my parent constructor as in a private method, maybe that constructor will not come here. And later I will instantiate that. Okay. So guys, small change I am going to do. So even we are going to handle the private things as well in this case. So in this class, I'm going to do SC24. And in the customer class, customer class, I am going to change the constructor. This as an app, this as an a private guys. This constructor is an a private and activate. So maybe come back. Come back because you need to refresh that. Edit. So visibility of the constructor must not be uh, more specialized than the visibility of the instance creation. Create addition. So oh, yeah, so maybe uh, this yeah sales are huh? okay. Why it's coming sales? Okay. Slash and ex. Okay. Go to the class. SAP user. And India one two three four. SC twenty four. And first one is the customer class and change. Change this to the uh, constructor should be private guys. It should be my private and save it. Okay. And do the syntax check. So it goes to the customer only. Visible to the constructor must not be more specialized than the visibility of the instance creation. Huh? Method constructor importing this type Kunar. And something the problem is. I think, yeah, that's the option. Control X. And maybe I will keep that in the here control and save and activate. Come back and this to delete this constructor. Okay, maybe the generated code it's not generating guys. And add the method now. And my method is the constructor and which is the name? 
private constructor and save so when you get errors more you'll get more subject trees huh so even i don't know what's the error it is and see and maybe i need to have any parameters save come back and constructor parameters uh, i am underscore uh, kunnr and it's my kunnr save it and save it right and go to the methods constructor uh, automatically I get the code huh? I deleted mm -hmm. I get the code automatically come back again and delete the constructor save into the syntax first activate first come back and freshly SC24 change and maybe constructor and which should be in a private constructor and save it and go to the um, constructor it's an instance go to the parameters I am underscore K U N N R it's my K U N N R and save go to the methods and constructor see now the where is my code so this is my code control c control v okay instead of this select single and my k u n n r and name one land one and t e l f one from k n a one into ATT underscore k u n n r ATT underscore my name one ATT underscore my land one ATT underscore my TGLF and where where K U N N R equal to the I am underscore K U N N R place. So that's it and save it and now do the syntax check and Visibility of the constructor must not be more specialized than the visibility of the instance creation. Instance creation. I think what I did is maybe come back and private properties. This should be public class. Yes share it I think you should not provide an a huh? yeah yeah how oh, it, it will not be activated until we solve that error you cannot activate that so that's what I'm thinking what is the addition it is expecting so private section constructor get company code get com company code and constructor both are in the private and maybe public section in the public section I have this create public And maybe I think my class must be private class then it's not a public class save it and do the syntax check yeah so 
<coughs> if it is in a public class if it is in a public class so statements case we are getting the different kind of statements we are going to see so what is the points case where is my points where are my points case yeah so maybe this is my 132 and new slide and the point is seventh always private constructors construct constructor should be part of should be part of private class only so if you want to define a public constructor guys even the class should be in a sorry if you want to have in a private constructor and the class should be in a private class you cannot have any you cannot have private constructor with the private class guys that's the one more thing so that's what the observation which we did it guys that, that's what we did it and if it is in a private class maybe now now it will be changed now see i will go to the since i make this class total class as in a private class so what happens into the subclass this is my subclass sales and which is inherited which is inherited from the private class this is my private class okay so will i get all the attributes yes i am getting all the public attributes right and also methods i am getting only the sales area which is in a public and maybe i will remove this as well guys so i am not confusing whether it, this constructor is from uh, there or here maybe i will remove it save and do the syntax check and the super class has a property create private you cannot create an instance of the subclass this can only be changed if the subclass is a friend of the superclass guys see so save and do the syntax check see the superclass has the pro property create private this is my private constructor which i have and you cannot create any instance of the subclass so the subclass you cannot instantiate it it's not at all possible if you want to instantiate the subclass the subclass should be in a friends class of the super class guys so pura ka pura take this message and we're gonna get this um, display how can i get this message display no no i can get this message guys so if we have super class as private class and its constructor defined with private if we if we want to have any instance object for the 
child class child class then definitely we need to make subclass as friends class to the to the parent or super class simple guys if you want to access any parent class private components of any parent class we need to have an we need to assign this class we need to assign this class so here we have two classes so one is the sales class which is an a child class and customer class which is an a parent class but parent class is an a private class parent class is an a private class so if you want to access the private things of an a parent things private attributes or private components of an a parent class you need to make your child class as an a friends class to the parent object and go to the se24 and this is my this is my cast and change the cast and go to the friends here go to the friends here you make this class you make this class this is my subclass go to the parent make a friendship with this case make a friendship with this and activate and activate that's it i make a friends now parent and child become an a friends now guys parent and child become an a friends now come back to the sales class now come back to the sales class and this is my sales class change and now press save and do the syntax check so guys no syntax errors found no syntax errors found guys that's the name friends class concept guys so we have seen the inheritance we have seen the single inheritance we have seen the friends class today's class and also and go to the attributes now see all my public attributes are available and also maybe go to the methods i see the get sales area maybe i can have my own constructor now here guys so do you want to copy across the signature of the super class constructor and super class constructor uh, no and this is my parameters and it's my i am underscore vbg ln and uh, i don't think now also i will get problem vb ln underscore va and save i think i may get the same error go to the constructor if i have if i just define just break point okay i'm not writing any code we'll do the syntax check and see the constructor method must the constructor of the super class the constructor method must call the constructor of the super class guys so you must call you must call my design is wrong guys so very important when you implement the super classes the design should be same so like this i need to call so then only it will accept super and constructor and my constructor of the super class my constructor of the super class my super class constructor is the customer number and this is my customer number and i need to first call the customer number here so from this customer number i need to do the things guys so so my customer number actually i need to do in a reverse process first i need in a sales and customer that the design just shift to the design guys now so did you understand if i make guys object orientation design doesn't go and i did a different design but i should not do like this i should not do like this my sales should be in a parent object and customer is always uh, child only guys product is also a child so my design is wrong guys here just i will shift it no problem and but we will come to know what exactly uh, what based on the issues we are going to know first my sales should be the parent and my customer should be the child guys so that implementation we'll see in that tomorrow's class maybe so i have given some idea now so first do the sales class based on the sales class do the 
child classes as an a customer classes in a child class and material classes in a child class case so that's it for today and today we have seen it's not a output guys errors are the our subject actually we have seen the errors these errors are the our subject guys and every error is in a subject constructor and normal method signature and how to raise the exceptions and we have seen the difference between local class and global class and also how to test the global class how to instantiate the global class guys we'll see in the tomorrow tomorrow i will shift the design but in today's you when you do the practice first do the sales as an apparent and uh, customer and products as an a child's guys okay don't do with that and that's that's it for today and you can practice the object orientation guys okay so any questions huh? we are not we'll create the object okay okay so when you click on the instance button right automatically it builds that code create object so the, they have given the button so here in the global class they don't give any code just when you create a button create instance the object is created That's instance means instantiation of the class guys instantiation of the class is the object indirectly instantiation of the class is an object okay so that's it for today and actually this all these concepts will be available in the singleton and the factory methods they have used all these guys so if you understand this you can understand the existing sap framework how they are building the clsa alv class and the clga alv uh, display class so all these classes are built up with based on this framework only okay if you don't understand this framework you don't understand the the existing sap standard classes you don't understand okay whether just you will say name what is the class class name but inside what are all the there how to raise the events how to call the methods okay how to take the attributes of any class everything if you know these fundamentals then only you can use the object orientation you can understand the sap framework guys okay so that's an some of the concepts we have discussed maybe we need to discuss now in the uh, tomorrow maybe what exactly the interface see here the disadvantage of the interface is i can have only single inheritance but if i want to have multiple inheritance and it's not possible and we need to have an a next interface and abstract class concept then we'll see in what is interface what is abstract class and also what is the polymorphism also we are going to see in the next classes with the implementation guys so that's it for today's class what is the time now 1220 yeah i have in a meeting maybe in the idocs we will be having change pointer concept today and we'll finish up the change pointer concept and by 115 i need to close the class guys so next next class is the change points